Now, we begin. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed, greetings unto you, beloved friends. Join with me in this moment. Join with me in this hour. Join with me in the place where alone two minds can join. For the body cannot bring you to where I am, as it cannot bring you to where your beloved is. Join with me then in the silent place of the heart in which our wisdom already abides. Join with me then in this moment in the place prepared for us of our Creator before time is. Join with me by choosing now to allow your attention to relax from the things of the world. Allow the eyes to gently close as a symbol of your willingness to set aside your involvement with and your attachment to the things of this created world. Join with me by allowing the body to be set free. This requires only that you make no demands upon it. Indeed, let it settle in as though it were becoming again the dust of the ground from which it came. Join with me as you let your attention recede from the world around you. Begin to notice the thoughts that seem to stream through the mind. Join with me by moving ever yet deeper as though you are allowing your attention to settle down, down into the heart. And as the thoughts would seem to stream through the mind, can you tell from whence they've come? Can you tell where they've gone? They arise in a moment and fade away in a moment while you continue to relinquish your attachment to all things of the world. Verily I say unto you, even the thoughts that arise and stream through the mind ceaselessly are of the world. Settle down then, abiding in the gentle quiet of the heart. You do not cause the physical heart to beat and send the blood through the body. It simply knows and it does. You do not cause the breath to flow through the body, it arises and passes away, it does not require your attention. And in this moment, is it you that keeps the stars in the sky above you? Is it you that keeps your beautiful planet, your earth, 
spinning, hurtling through space around and around your central sun, never deviating very much at all from the same orbit it's been in since its creation. Must you attend to the quiet, unseen way in which the flowers outside your window are growing? Can you hear the sound of the grass as it grows? And somewhere in this very moment, a child has been birthed. Are you aware of it? Indeed, all of creation continues to go on an eternal dance, mystery giving birth to mystery, returning to mystery without ceasing. And yet, you simply abide in a quiet place within the sanctuary of the heart. Join with me now in perfect peace. Join with me where alone we can remember that we are together. Give up all hope of directing yourself to me by taking thought. Join with me in the simple understanding that of yourself you can do nothing. Join with me by surrendering into the truth of a union beyond all comprehension. Settle deeply into the quiet sanctuary of the heart we share. That heart is the depth and the essence of the Creator's only creation. And that creation is pure mind, pure being, pure intelligence, the fulfillment of all wisdom, the depth of all compassion, the certainty of every purpose under heaven. Rest with me, join with me, and acknowledge that our minds are joined. And as you rest, again, you might notice that thoughts seem to arise and pass away. But do you not sense them now as though they were coming from a place where you are not? as though you had sunk more deeply to a place of quiet beneath the surface upon which thoughts flow back and forth without ceasing. Are you then the thoughts? No, you are not. Are you even the thinker of the thoughts? No, you are not. You are merely that quiet and that presence that observes all of creation flowing through a field of awareness which is the mind of Christ, unlimited forever are you, unchanging forever, are you. 
perfectly changeless are you. And we are of one substance, one light, and one truth. Here alone does reality reside. Here alone is reality remembered. Here alone love reigns supreme. Here alone is where you are. And in this place that is everywhere at once, and in this eternity that embraces every moment of time, what do we discover? What is it that we share? It is not a body, for bodies are limited, being temporary expressions of the coalescence of thought. It is not the body that we can share. Look yet more deeply. Is it the thoughts that still dance upon the surface far above you? No. What is it then that binds us one to another as one another? Is it not the silence and the awareness of the one who observes the arising and passing away of all created things? I share with you the depth of a perfect silence. I share with you a wisdom supreme. I abide as you are the thought of love in form. To be in form does not mean to be a body. It means only that that mind, which is the reality of love's existence, truly abides within each of us equally. And if this were not so, you could not recognize me. And when I speak a word or a sentence, or a paragraph that resonates within you as being the truth. You could not know it was so if that truth did not already live within you as the reality of your very existence. Remain with me now. Heed not the call of that part of the mind that would distract you and lead you back to the illusions that comprise your world. Here there are no mates, no careers, no loss, no gain, no pain, no suffering. Here alone, the truth remains shimmering within you. Here is where I am. And this heart that we share is not contained within your body. Rather, the body has emerged from within the power that resides in this holy place. It is provided for you only a temporary learning experience. 
It will be there when you return, should you desire it. But for now, give yourself permission to rest into the heart of all creation, the still and silent place of perfect peace. What is it that we share if not awareness itself? For here, if anyone were to look, they would see there is no difference between you and myself. You are a shimmering field of awareness, and that same shimmering field comprises the essence of all that I am. And within this awareness lies the answer to every question you might choose to ask. Within this shimmering awareness is the reassurance that the end of the journey is certain. Within this shimmering awareness do you abide at one with all minds and every aspect of creation. Join with me here often in remembrance of me, for this is the secret of communion, to relinquish the perception of the world in favor of the acknowledgement of reality. Mind reaches out forever, but it reaches only to itself. Therefore, every word that I share with you is already present within you. Here does love abide alone, and there is no space for anything unlike love. This is why every loving thought is true, for it arises not from the superficial or the surface level of the mind that generates thoughts merely in reaction to other thoughts. But love emerges from the depth of the heart that transcends what you know to be your body and your mind, your feedback mechanism. When you think a loving thought, you have been caressed by the touch of God. When you hear not loving thoughts within yourself, this can mean only that you have returned to the surface and have denied the depth within you. If you would then hear only loving thoughts, simply observe where your attention is and allow it to settle deeply into this place beyond time, beyond the body, beyond the dream of the world. For this place, the kingdom of heaven within you, is vast beyond comprehension. The world you know, when you take your attention to the surface of the mind, is contained within it and embraced within this heart, like a dewdrop, begins to be consumed by the ocean that receives it. 
Here then, beloved friends, is the place of all certainty. Here the place of perfect power to fulfill the loving thoughts with which your Creator has caressed you. Here the way to fulfill each loving vision. Here the source of all wisdom upon which you can draw to recreate yourself to be the presence of Christ incarnate. Here then is the straight and narrow path that leads unto life. For life is beyond every concept you have ever heard, even those that I have used to communicate with you. They have been like so many fingers pointing at the moon that shines its light gently upon you. That light lives in the depth of a silent heart. Therefore, silence is the doorway to wisdom divine. Remain with me here. Do not think on what you hear, but allow it to pour through you, knowing that the vibrations of wisdom that these words carry will leave their trace upon you without the least bit of effort on your part. You need only be as a lover to the mind of God, opening, allowing, receiving, taking in that which your Creator would bestow upon you. Remain with me in the depth of this perfect silence. Notice how you begin to feel a gentle spaciousness, a peace descending upon you like a gentle dove. And yet you have done nothing And again, should you feel your attention being pulled back to the surface of your awareness, merely choose again and return to the quiet of the heart. I am loved. I am loving. I am lovable forever. Let this phrase be as a stairway that descends from the world of your making to the depth of perfect peace. You need repeat it only when you notice that you've become temporarily distracted by the sights and sounds and images of the world around the body as well as the thoughts that seem to stream and dance along the surface of what you would call the brain center. I am loved. I am loving. I am lovable forever. And as you come to feel grounded, rooted in that deep and silent place, ask whatsoever you will, and its answer shall not be hidden from you. Ask to witness my lifetime as I walked upon your earth, and it will be shown you. Ask to be shown 
the vibrational field in which you were conceived in this life, it will not be hidden from you. Ask whatever you would about a friend who perhaps has seemed troubled of late and the source of what is occurring within them will be gently revealed to you. For remember that in this place you are awareness itself merely becoming aware of itself. And that awareness, that consciousness, lives equally as the essence of each and every one whom you know and love. And your love of them is what binds you to them in the depth of a quiet, awareness. But as you descend the stairway to the quiet place of the heart, there are a few things to leave behind you. The need to be right, the need to be supported in your illusions the fear of rejection, abandonment, denial, and death. Leave behind you every thought of what the world is and what it is for. Leave behind you every thought you have ever held of everyone and everywhere. Surrender, relinquish the world of your perceptions and come quietly to kneel before your Creator. And there the silent place of the heart, unattached to whatever is given you or shown to you, nothing will be kept secret. Would you know the foundations of the world? The answer is here. Would you know how to best direct love to a loved one? The answer is here. And a voice will speak to you like one crying from the wilderness. Pictures will be shown you, feelings enlivened within you. And you will know that way to extend your treasure. Remain with me here, for here do I abide. And the only difference between us is that occasionally you believe that you abide somewhere else. And when you journey up those stairs to begin to be distracted, by the thoughts on the surface of your mind and by the sensory feedback of the energy field that comprises your physical creation, I remain in our shared heart, patiently waiting for your return. Remain with me here. I am loved. I am loving and I am lovable forever. This is the truth that sets me free. I am that I am. My awareness.
awareness knows no limitation and all worlds arise within me. I am that mind present in all beings. When they descend the stairway and embrace the truth that alone is true always. Here, perfect peace. Here, the recognition that nothing is lacking. Here, the embrace of the fulfillment of the love I have sought in all the wrong places. Here alone do I abide. Here alone do I remain. I am that one existing before all worlds. This alone is the truth about me. These words are not mine, they are ours, and we share in them equally. I am loved, I am loving, I am lovable forever. I am that I am. of the depth of that perfect silence and the remembrance of that perfect knowledge, there comes the impulse of a loving thought. Take me into form. Take me into space and time. Reveal me to the world. Your life can become whenever you choose it to be so, merely the process of Christ's incarnation. Relinquish the world even as you walk through it, surrender it with every breath. Learn to cultivate the depth of this knowing in the midst of all activities in which the body is used as a temporary learning and teaching device. Beloved friends, abide with me in this union. And regardless of what the eyes of the body show you, regardless of what the ears of the body hear, regardless of the harmless thoughts that seem to dance across the surface of the brain-mind. You abide where I am, informed by that love from which there has been birthed the sun, the moon, and all the stars of heaven, the planets, in their orbits and all dimensions within our Father's creation. You can realize 
the incarnation of Christ by coming to dwell in the heart of Christ until every step and every word and every gesture flows from this deep and silent and perfect place until its voice is the only one upon which you act. And even as the thoughts of the world stream through your brain mind, and even as the sensory data is received through the cellular structures of the nervous system of the body, yet you can relinquish these things and act only from that depth of perfect wisdom, perfect safety, and perfect peace. This is the month of your thanksgiving, as it is called. Will it be that month in which you truly give thanks for the grace that sets you free? Will you honor that grace by descending the stairway to the quiet places of the heart in each of your days? I am loved, I am loving, and I am lovable forever. I am that. I am infinite awareness, birthless, deathless, that which embraces the dream of space and time and looks lovingly upon all harmless and neutral events. And even the body is no longer mine. It merely arises and passes away. While I, the creator of all creation, inform it with the awareness of perfect forgiveness, perfect peace, and the fulfillment of love. Yea, though I walk through the valleys of space and time, fear arises not within me, for all good things are in my safe keeping, stored where moth and dust cannot corrupt, where thieves cannot break in to steal. Here alone is the treasure that I seek no longer because I have found. Abide here with me until the hour comes when you know that you will go out no more from our Father's holy place. That place is this depth of peace that abides wherever you are as the very heart and essence of your reality. I am loved, I am loving, and I am lovable forever. This I give you as a divine meditation and way of prayer. Perfect it, live it, drink it in. Embrace it, devour it, become it. For in this becoming, you will merely remember what has always been true since before the arising 
of all worlds. As a bird returns to rest in its nest, as the melting snow becomes a river that flows into the depth of a silent ocean, as the sound, the song of a flute, descends gently upon your own ears, you the creator of the notes, so too, be you therefore wise as serpents and dissolve into this depth of the truth of your being often until you abide here in everywhere and every when. And when the body steps upon the earth, and when the vocal cords are used to form words, the touch of the foot upon the earth will remind you of Christ's blessing and the words that shape themselves will teach only love. Here then, beloved friend, is the essence of all that I would extend to you in this day and in this hour. Utilize the remainder of your time of this hour's communication to practice gently descending and ascending upon the ladder of awareness. Give yourself permission to ascend, to notice the thoughts that stream through the mind. Hear the sounds around you. Feel the weight of the body in the chair where you sit. And then descend again. And abiding yet a little while, then again choose to ascend. Listen to the sounds around you, the beating of the physical heart. Shift the weight of the body. Notice the thoughts that stream through the surface of the mind. Relinquish these things and descend again. Gently ascending and descending. For as you do so, you will join both poles together and you will cultivate within yourself the awareness and the spiritual power necessary to be in the world but not of the world. Can there be a greater accomplishment than this? Can there be anything that can offer to you a greater fulfillment than to be the conduit through which infinite awareness and power flows with every breath, every gesture, every spoken word to reveal Christ to the world through you. What could you ever value greater than this. Enjoy then your hour and know that when you descend to that place of a silent heart within you, I will greet you and I will sit with you in the depth of that silence. And our minds and our hearts and our souls shall merge as one. And when you ascend, you take me with you. And when you descend, you drink me into yourself. Until finally, there is no difference between us. 
And when the world looks upon you, they will say, Behold, I am in the presence of something mysterious, something attractive, something vast and peaceful and filled with power. Surely this is the child of God. And now, from that mind that we share as one, I say again unto you, may peace walk with you, and my blessings I give unto you. Not as the world gives, give I the voice for Christ that longs to be your voice. For the world gives and takes away, but my love is with you forever. Let this love become your very own. Claim it, own it, taste it, drink it, Breathe it, walk it, talk it, incarnate it. And though I go now to recede into silence, yet do I walk with you on the way that you will choose, that it might become a way that extends the treasure of your perfect knowledge that you are loved, that you are loving, and that you are lovable forever, that you are indeed that which you are, and you cannot be anything else. Gently touch each moment with what you bring from what you discover in the depth of your dissension into the heart of Christ. Peace be with you always and light your way while yet you abide within the world. You are indeed sent forth as that one who holds all power to extend the treasure of truth. Be you therefore that which you are, and you are the stars that light the heavens and bring radiance to the things of time. Go you therefore into all the world and bless it with the radiance of the Christ within you. And if ever you need to know where you should be, descend to that depth and when you ascend, open the eyes and bless the place you are. And in this is your purpose fulfilled. Peace be unto you always. Amen.